Hello, this is Daniel, and today I want to show you how to use our self-service web booking screen in order to manage your trips. First, I'm going to log in with my account. You'll have received your account credentials from your transportation provider. From here, we have several options. I can create a new order, view my future orders, view my past orders, or even view my account details. Account details is where you would go if you needed to change your password or update your email address. So let's go ahead and create a new trip. First thing I need to do is tell the system where I'm coming from and where I'm going. I can either choose from my predefined points of interest, such as my home address, or I could enter the address in directly into the screen. I can also optionally add a note for the driver. I'm gonna tell them to pick me up at the side door. Now I'm gonna tell the system that I'm going to my dialysis center. The next step is to choose funding. Specific guidelines for what to select for funding, sponsor, or trip purpose will have been provided to you by your transportation provider. After choosing those, I need to tell the system when my appointment is. So first thing is first, let's choose a date and a time. I also need to let the system know that this 11 o'clock time is a drop-off time. That means I need to be to my appointment by 11 o'clock. It's really important whenever you're working with medical appointments that you use the drop-off time option. Using the pickup time option will tell the system you want to get picked up at 11, not when you need to be there by. So I'm going to go ahead and choose drop-off time. I can also indicate if there will be any other people riding with me, like a personal care attendant. So let's go ahead and send this order. Okay, we now see that the order is accepted, we can see the details of our order, and we can even see an estimated pickup time. Now the estimate can change on the day of service because things like traffic and other factors come into play, so it's important to keep an eye on this in the days coming ahead. I can also optionally copy this order to another day, or even order a return trip like I'm going to do now. So we can see that because this is a return trip, it's already flipped the addresses since it knows I'm coming from dialysis to home, so now I just need to tell it what time I want to come home. So I'm getting picked up at four and we'll go ahead and send this order. And we can see it's also accepted. So let's take a look at our future orders. This page contains any trips that we have pending for the future. And I even including the ones that I just booked. So I can see the details again or even cancel it from here. It's going to ask me if I'm sure I want to do so. I'm going to click OK. And now we can see that this trip is canceled. And that's how you can manage your own trips through self-service web bookings. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your transportation provider for any specific help related to your trips or the self-service portal in general.